TERF. It stands for Trans-Exclusionary Radical Feminist. TERF is a term that appears on the internet around 2008. Biff Smithy, feminist blogger and contributor to The Guardian, created the term in her personal blog positioning herself against the Michigan Women's Music Festival and its anti-trans views. In this video, we explain the difference between the UK and the USA. In the UK, the trans turf has been used to label prominent figures like J.K. Rowling. The author of Harry Potter faced a backlash from the trans community in 2020 after criticizing an article for the sentence, People Who Menstruate. In February 2019, the New York Times published the article, How British Feminists Became Anti-Trans. The author, Sophie Lewis, wrote, As a result, middle and upper class white feminists have not received the pummeling as a big critique from black and indigenous feminists that the American counterparts have. Feminism in the UK is not only seen as anti-trans by the counterparts, but also lacking all the perspective from the females from different ethnicities. At that point, having in mind the diversity of the UK. Following the comments on J.K. Rowling on social media in 2020, the term TERF became prominent in the public debate. There are three demands from this feminist group against the inclusion of trans women in the sisterhood. Female-only spaces, uncensored freedom of speech, and tougher regulation on gender recognition and sex transitioning. All started in 2004. The UK passed the Gender Recognition Act. From this moment, people can self-declare the gender following the law requirements. Feminism claim that such law is a vulneration of women's rights. In 2016 and 2020, the Prime Minister Theresa May and Liz Truss, Minister for Women and Equalities at the time, proposed reforms seen as unpopular and discriminatory. The public opinion is opposed to these reforms by supporting self-certified IDs and transgender equality. The debate continues. The term TERF described the views of a small part of the feminist community. It has a derogatory connotation and is used by those who feel excluded from the feminist community.